Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I did get a lot of requests to see me paint the owl. Um, so what I did was I ordered a couple of these owls on Etsy and I'm trying to find out where now. It's, I'm searching my um, my emails and I'm trying to find out. You can also buy molds on Amazon to make your own um, owls just like this that are exactly the same. Um, so I'll leave a link for those and if I find the Etsy shop that I purchased these off of, one of them came um, busted up, um, but I'm going to try and fix it using my son's clay. <laughs> um, but this one is not busted, so I've painted it black. I've given it a couple coats of black um, and these were already made, sent uh, from Etsy. So I didn't get the mold for these ones, but I got them shipped to me. Um, and they chip the stuff that's used to make them kind of chips. So I have to be careful with it. I've got it laying on some parchment paper. My black paint is dry and I'm using a mini master set of, um, color shifting metallic water paints. These are similar to the color shifting paints, um, that I've been selling in my Etsy shop as well, um, that I hand make myself. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm, I've colored in the nose using a little bit of water. Uh, I'm using a water brush, but I'm actually not, it's not full of water. I find these, uh, water brushes actually uh, use too much water and I can't paint, uh, the way I paint on rocks and on top of black acrylic paint with too much water. So if you're painting like me, don't use too much water. Just use a little bit. I sometimes put a little cap of distilled water on my desk and then I'll just use a little bit of water instead of filling up my water brush. Um, but basically I'm doing like a, a nice ombre. I started off with a nice orange nose. Uh, sorry, beak. <laughs> I'll probably call it a nose a few times. Um, and then I did like a rose gold to a, a pink to a, a deeper pink uh, and now down to a purple. So I'm just kind of going along um, and kind of just changing the color just a little bit as I go down the front feathers. Um, now you can paint an owl in black, outline everything in gold and do the same thing using the watercolors. Um, you don't have to have an owl-shaped stone. <laughs> you can just paint an owl that's similar to this. Um, and if you just take a look at like the still photo of it, you can kind of sketch out how it's supposed to look and you can go from there. So if you can't get a molded stone like this, or you can't get a mold and make your own stone, you can just draw an owl attempt to anyway <laughs> and then paint it black and outline certain areas like the feathers and the nose and the eyes and the top little feathers uh, just outline it in gold and then off you go to the races with your uh, with your watercolor once it's dry don't do it till it's dry <laughs> so I am going to be putting uh, crystals in the eyes they're not going to be left just like that I'm also going to be dotting some gold on top of this owl once all of this watercolor paint is dry. You can see it sizzling as it settles into all the little crevices and bumps and feathers. Uh, and it's going to look so, so magical uh, when it's done and I seal it with resin. Now, I just want to let you know, if you haven't seen my resin tutorial, I kind of soap on the resin using gloved hands. I don't just brush it on with a paintbrush. Uh, I used to, but I've learned that I can get all in the nooks and crannies better and I can use less resin if I soap it on using gloved hands. So I do the same thing with this guy. I don't show you the process, but I do the same thing that I do with my rocks. I soap it on there with resin and then I just stood it uh, on its feet to dry and I'm going to sand off any little bumps or resin nipples, as we like to call them. Um, any of those can sit, be sanded off the bottom of his feet, and he still gets covered in resin very nicely. You'll see at the end, 
So the front, there's a lot of like golds and um, like orange, red, pink, purple. There's a lot of really nice warm colors at the front. And then I'm doing blue at the top here for his, I call it ears. I'm sure there's a technical term, <laughs> but they're his ear feathers, darn it. And then I'm coming down with some purple down the sides. Now on this owl, there's some side wingage. And then there's some back feathers um, that I'm going to change from blue uh, to green to gold. And it's going to look magical. So every way you turn this owl, it's going to change. And depending on what light you're looking at it under, it's going to change. So it's going to you're going to be like, whoa, wait a minute. It wasn't that color a minute ago. <laughs> it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Um, now, I do have another tutorial, um, one that you can do with me. It's a heart-shaped uh, stone, and that's going to be coming out tomorrow. Um, so stay tuned for that. And it's going to be dotted because I love dots. Love lots of dots. Um, and then I have another tutorial coming out in a couple of days. Um, that will be really beautiful. So stay tuned. I had March break last week here, so my kids were home all week. Lucky me. <laughs> um, but I didn't get a lot of work done because of that. So um, I'm back to it again this week, and I've missed you all, and I appreciate you guys. You guys are just the sweetest bunch of people. The most, if I ever need any kind of, like, lifting up um mentally emotionally I go to my channel and I read your comments and I just want to thank you guys all for that you guys are beautiful beautiful artistic creative souls and I love each and every one of you individually and some of you comment all the time some of you don't some of you just like my video or watch my video um but I appreciate every single one of you and I really don't know what I'd do without you half the time. So just know how important you are to me. You've given me the opportunity to uh, work from home. I mean, this is free. And I know that YouTube does take like 30% of my anything if I earn anything on YouTube. So, I mean, it's not definitely not enough to support myself. But just watching the video and and being there and learning something from me, that really makes me happy. So I really appreciate it if you've hit the like button or if you've shared my videos or if you've hit subscribe. Um, just know that it really does mean something to me and my family. So I love you guys and thank you for being patient through this entire uh, past two years of, of I don't even know what to call it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's been hard for everybody and you guys have stuck by me and you know, you've, you've made me, you've made me feel like I've got a purpose. So I just have to let you guys know how much I appreciate you. So you can see what I've been doing. I've just kind of been going from blue to teal to green and then I'm changing the green to a lighter green and then the bottom feathers are going to be gold. So you can use whatever colors of water glitter uh, paints that you have, watercolor paints. Uh, anything metallic or glittery or color shifting is going to look absolutely gorgeous. Um, and if you don't have metallic watercolors or color shifting watercolors, you can paint this using sponges and metallic paints, metallic acrylic paints. You don't even have to use metallic. You can choose whatever paints you want, but it'll blend on nicely in that ombre effect if you use a sponge, uh, if you're not using watercolors. So, um, so the side wingage, <laughs> um, yes, I know there are technical terms, but not for this beauty. That's just side wingage. There's going to be more of a purple along the side. That's my favorite color. Um, and it's all just going to kind of blend in nicely together, I think. It's it's going to look really pretty. It's drying, so it looks kind of uh, dull. I assure you, the dullness is going to immediately go away as soon as I seal it. Um, and I've never had any problem with Art Resin dragging the color down. 
and pooling at the bottom, uh, it the color stays. Uh, all of the watercolors that I use have stayed where I put them. So um, I, I guess I'm using art resin. I guess that might be why, but I don't know if that's why. Um, I'm going to be painting his feet gold and then I'm going to be sponging on a little bit of black to kind of, um, I don't know, I guess it's not really uh, aging them, but I'm just kind of getting rid of some of the boldness of the gold um, and, and putting a little bit of black on. Um, but that won't be till after. Right now I'm going to dot my bird. <laughs> um, as you can see, I did some little dots. I'm just using a dotting needle. You can use a toothpick. Um, and I'm just dotting the curve of all of the wings. That's all I'm going to do. I might speed this up so that you don't get bored. Um, but I'm literally just dotting little dots to show the shape of all the feathers a little bit more. And of course, because I love gold, I didn't want to leave it out. Um, my gold gets jealous and won't talk to me if I don't use it um, often enough. So if you know how I'm feeling, <laughs> add gold. <laughs> um, but I think it's going to add to its beauty as well. So I'm, I'm really not concerned. You don't have to use gold. You can use silver. You can use any metallic or even white. White will stand out on top of all of this glitter. Um, but definitely something metallic or, or very bold would be your best bet. Um, it'll look beautiful anyway. It's completely up to you, but I like dots and I like gold and I just wanted to add a little bit more to this bird. It's looking absolutely beautiful already, but I can't wait to show it to you, uh, once it's resined. It's, it's really going to look pretty. So I've sped it up. <laughs> I haven't just turned into some kind of uh, machine. I have just sped up the video so it takes a little bit. Um, you guys can see what I'm doing, right? I mean, it's it's pretty obvious what I'm doing. And you can pause it so that you don't miss anything. And then once I turn it around to do the back, you can press play again when you're ready. You don't have to try and go as fast as I am. But I've pretty much dotted the sides and the front and I'm now going to do the same thing with the back you can see that beautiful uh, color changing going on already and I'm speeding it up again so that you guys don't get bored um, but literally I'm just going as quickly as I can because I, I tend to get bored easily um, and I'm just going around each one of the defined feathers. If you can find different shapes, different owls, uh, you can use the same technique. And I had a little cat hair stuck there, so I had to take my tweezers and pull that out. Um, but now it's pretty much ready. I think it's time. It looks so dull. I wish you could see, uh, how magnificent this actually looks, um, I still have to paint his feet gold and I still have to put crystals in his eyes. Um, I'm choosing to put the crystals on before I resin just because um, the resin is going to hold the crystals on nicely. Um, look at that. Look at the color. It goes purple, green. Oh, this is going to look so pretty. I'm very excited to show you. Um, so for the eyes, I'm going to use a little bit of triple thick and I'm just going to put a little blob of triple thick in the center of his eyes and then I'm going to use Swarovski flat back crystals and this um, triple thick works as like a glue. Um, it's not good to seal your stuff with triple thick because it's not actually um, a sealant. It's it's kind of like a it's kind of like a glue. Um, so if it gets really wet, it'll get sticky and it'll start peeling. So it's not really good to seal your stuff with that unless you're using like a, a triple thick spray from Krylon or something. But that stuff's deadly unless you're doing it outside and you're wearing a mask and you're protecting you and your family and friends and animals. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just going to stick the, I'm going to use my triple thick as a glue I'm sticking my flat back Swarovski right on his eye there. I actually put too much glue um, and it squeezed out the side and I don't want it 
to look bad. So I'm probably going to peel that off <laughs> and redo it. Um, but yeah, they're going to dry and then I'm going to seal it with resin and those crystals aren't going anywhere. They're going to be there forever. <laughs> and it's nice because it actually covered the, the resin really covered him nicely. So he looks good. His crystals are like an Aurora crystal. So it's got like shades of, um, like pink and orange and like coral and yellow and gold and purple and you shift it. It's not like a, a clear crystal. It's, it's more colorful. Um, so I've painted his feet gold, as you can see, and I forgot to, to record that part, but I literally just sponged on gold on his feet. And then I painted the bottom of his feet black and I'm going to sponge on a little bit of black on his little gold toesies, kind of like dirties them up a little. It looks kind of aged. <laughs> I just didn't want them so bold with just the plain old gold. So this is an option you do not have to do. Uh, it's totally up to you. <laughs> but look, look at him. He has been sealed with resin. He's nice and dry. The colors really pop out of there. Like you can see every shift humanly possible with color shifting paint. Um, the feathers change all over the place. You think it's this color and then it's not. And as I move the camera, you can see the, the purple and the, the maroon and it just, it's so deep and colorful and beautiful and glittery and there's lots of gold too. <laughs> I really love this project. This was a lot of fun and I'm hoping that um, I can find a mold with bigger owls and I'll sell some uh, in my shop. I'll be putting this guy in my shop and once I fix the broken one, uh, I'll paint that one up and, and put it in my shop too. Let me know what you guys thought of this. Was it fun? Are you going to try something like that? Um, here's a couple of still photos for you to look at. I love you guys. I will see you very, very soon. Thank you again. Bye.